This is the mitochondrion where oxidative phosphorylation takes place and provides the energy for phosphoryl phosphorylating ADP into ATP. The mitochondrion is composed of five main parts, the outer membrane, the intermembrane space, the inner membrane, the inner matrix, and the cristae. Once pyruvate has moved from the cell cytoplasm to the inner matrix, the Krebs cycle begins. Pyruvate is partially broken down by enzymes, and NADH and FADH2 are produced. These are highly reduced molecules, which mean they are very willing to give up their electrons. The Krebs cycle also produces a little ATP and carbon dioxide. Because NADH and FADH2 are highly reduced, they easily pass their electrons to the cytochromes. The cytochromes become excited and pass the electron down the chain of cytochromes until they all have become excited. Once the cytochromes have become excited, they begin pumping hydrogen ions or protons into the intermembrane space. The increase in hydrogen ions in the intermembrane space creates the chemiosmotic gradient, which is when the intermembrane space reaches a pH of 5, while the inner matrix maintains a pH of 7. When this happens, ATP synthase opens up a tube, and hydrogen ions come rushing back into the inner matrix with a great amount of energy. This energy is used to phosphorylate ADP and P in the, in the inner matrix into ATP. Oxygen is used as a terminal receptor in the electron transport chain. When the last cytochrome becomes reduced, it passes its electron to the oxygen, which forms water with hydrogen ions in the inner matrix. This is the only reason that we need to breathe oxygen.